saying I love you is going to be a lie, because it is a lie. It is. And eventually it will become a truth. Depression had like consumed my life more so than, than ever before or since. And it was listening to that inner dialogue and realizing, oh my gosh, automatic thoughts are so powerful. Wow. And um, training my mind. And to this day, I mean, yeah. I started about two years ago writing in a gratitude journal because at that time when I was overcoming anorexia, I started to just take time every day to look myself in the eye, in the mirror, mm. and tell myself the thoughts I wanted to believe. And your mind- Even if you didn't believe them. I did not believe them. <clears throat> but your mind categorizes things and your mind as lies or truth. And so at first when I would say these things, they would automatically go into the bucket of lies. You know, like I'd be like, you're beautiful, you're smart. <laughs> You are strong. You, I love my body. I am grateful for my health and my body. You know, I would say these things like, and I would like cry as I yeah, said them. Yeah. Um, Cause I, like it was such a lie. But eventually after telling yourself enough, your brain will start to then put it into the truth category. If you've said it enough and it starts to accept like, well, maybe this is true. Same with like self love and self acceptance. Like if you've been hating yourself for years, saying I love you is going to be a lie. Cause it is a lie. It is and eventually it will become a truth. And so mm. I, it was a very like physical and intentional practice. Now <clears throat> it's a much more casual practice, but like I write in a gratitude journal every night and I just say mm. three things at the end of the day yeah. that I'm grateful for about my life and about my success. And if anyone is still listening, <clears throat> this is one thing that I strongly encourage you to do in your life. A simple gratitude journal. It takes like two minutes at the end of the day and I have noticed a significant change in my happiness because I think we all have a default setting where if you're not extremely excited and happy and if you're not like devastatingly sad and crying, there's like a default that you just kind of yeah. like coast through life at and that's your, that's your setting. And my default setting has shifted. One, through doing these practices when I was like super sick in the mind and it's like moved me up. But even now that I'm like a healthy person, I've seen the gratitude journal take me to a higher plane where more likely in random situations, I see the positive in it. Mm. Like I'm stuck in traffic and I start, I'm like, well, at least I live in this beautiful city in LA, wow. like where people want to be, you know? And I'm like, what the heck has happened to me? Like, <laughs> you know, and it's not all the time, but it's like automatic responses happen because of patterns that you've created. Mm -hmm. And if you've had years and years of being pessimistic, by like simply writing in a gratitude journal every night, you're training your mind to make positive patterns. And so more on your default setting, you're gonna be a happier, more positive, more grateful person. And it has like been one of the simplest things that has the biggest impact, I feel like, on my just average happiness. Mm. So I, I strongly encourage everyone to do a gratitude journal because it makes you intentional in saying, this is the kind of person I want to be. These are the kind of thoughts I want to think. And whether you're at the stage where you need to literally look yourself in the mirror and be like, stop beating yourself up, be kind, like be kind to yourself. Um, and when you do that with yourself, it makes you the kind of person that can do that for other people. That's true. You cannot be that loving and that <clears throat> kind if you are horrible to yourself. That's true. Like no matter, I don't care how, you know, how loving and kind of a person you are in the exterior, it can't be as authentic if you hate yourself. That's true.